mentioned two things, uh, raw vegan and fruitarian. And can you tell us what what those two things mean? What do you, what do you have yeah. to do to be those two things? Yeah, so um, with raw vegan, um, that basically could be a lot of different things, but I specifically am a fruit-based raw vegan or fruitarian. So um, with raw vegan, it's you're not heating your food over 118 degrees. And the point of that is to keep the food intact and um, not to destroy any enzymes in the food. Also think there's, there's water in a lot of plant-based foods, you know, like um, when we juice, when we juice vegetables and fruits and things like that, um, you know, there's obviously water in that. So we don't want to cook that water out and, a big thing with me is I want my food to hydrate me rather than to deplete the waters in my body um, that it would take to digest it. So that's a big reason why, um, why I'm personally raw. Um, also, just think like when we add fire to something, um, it starts to decay. And so if I don't want to be eating decaying food. So um, for me, I, I chose to kind of pursue the path of raw and it's been working really well for me. With fruitarianism, it's, it's the idea that um, fruits are just a bit more dense. They're more calorically dense than vegetables. And it's not that vegetables are bad. It's just that it's going to be really hard for me to maintain um, eating enough calories by just eating vegetables alone. And so fruit kind of has a bit more sustenance to it. And... Um, just kind of helps me feel more satiated, things like that. Um, and then I also don't have to rely on so many fats. Um, you know, I can kind of keep keep more of a like 80-10-10 type ratio of um, 80% carbs, 10% proteins, 10% fats, and kind of create like a very stable base off of that. Okay. I wanted to go back to what you said about enzymes because we're, we're going to learn so much from you today. And my my guess is that after today's show, there's maybe some people will want to go raw. Um, but s I think many people are going to go, oh, wow, I need to just at least put more live foods into my diet. So let's talk about enzymes. What do they do in our body? Why are they important? Why do we want more live foods than, let's say, cooked dead foods? Yeah. So, I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head with the word live and living. So we want to be eating these foods that have those living enzymes that um, they really just make digestion optimal and think um, digestion really is, is everything in a certain sense. Like we want to be eating foods that digest easily. Um, it's you, as, as an athlete, you probably know um, recovery is, is essential, right? And so basically digestion is a form of recovery. If our body has to work really hard, to break down and process and absorb foods, then um, it's it's just gonna it's gonna be more taxing and it's gonna um, require more energy. We're not gonna be able to recover as quickly. So the enzymes really are all about digestion. Um, it also promotes uh, gut gut health too. So um, you know, um, just kind of giving us the gut flora that we want. It just really helps with with all of that, I mean, uh, to, to sum it up, it's really just all about digestion. Um, it helps us break down the foods and assimilate them into our bodies as efficiently as possible. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to switch for good. This is the future.